السلام عليكم من الأشياء اللي بنواجهها في الـ Immediate Implant Placement موضوع الـ Abutment Abutment Selection الـ Healing Abutment كيف يكون Emergency Profile تبعي في هذا الفيديو هنعمل إن شاء الله Anatomically Accurate Custom Tissue Former للـ Immediate Loading Implant في هاي الـ Case For example we will do the Central Incisor Tooth number 9 أول خطوة I have to insert my STL I will import my STL model which I already did ثاني خطوة هي هتكون ال implant placement so I will place my implant هختار ال implant اللي بدي استخدمها بناء طبعا على الكيس اللي أنا عملها بالنسبة لل abutment أنا حاليا هحط custom abutment بحب أنا أخلي ال diameter 2.6 عزاس إني ممكن أستخدم هذا السلندر إني أعمل فيه سكو شانل اللينكث مش مهم بس انا بخلي 20 او 15 عشان اللي كان جايد جايد مي خلال عمليه امبلانت بوزيشننج هحط الامبلانت وهبدا اني اضبطها في ال 360 فيو Okay, so after I finished implant positioning, I will go to master model master. هنا هعمل segmentation. I will go to panels and select segmentation. Segmentation في أكتر من طريقة ممكن يعمل segmentation للتوث بس اللي أنا بدي إياه أو ممكن يعمل segmentation لكل الأسنان مع الجو also. بس أنا في هاي الكيس أحتاج one tooth. هختار automatic tooth segmentation and I will click on the desired tooth. Select tooth. I will click. Now it's highlighted. ممكن في هذا الفيديو لو عملت زوم أشوف ال borders تبعت ال tooth اللي أنا اخترته. لو حسيت إنه ال borders مش مغطية the entire tooth, I can go to, I can increase it. I can click inflate. It will increase increase one voxel in all directions. As we can see here, it increased. If I am satisfied with this. I will then click create surface. Now I have the tooth after segmentation, the patient's tooth, which I will use. Now I will select my implant. لو أنا ال implant راضع عن مكانه, I will lock it in place. الحين طبعا أنا محتاج abutment, محتاج tie base. Before I choose tie base, I will create a surface of the cylinder that I created because I will use it to create a screw channel. So before I change this cylinder, I will go to File, and I will extract this cylinder and keep it as a surface. I will go to Extract Data, I will Export Data, I will remove, unselect everything except the abutment. After that, I will click Create Surface. Now I have it in the surfaces, and I will name it so I am not confused. Two point six screw channel. Now I can. Change this cylinder to a tie base. I will replace the abutment. Instead of custom abutment, I will select an abutment, a tie base, according to the case, of course. The tie base should be selecting according to the case, as we mentioned, and it should take me up and out from the bone borders. After I select it, I will go to the 3D view, select my tooth, so we can now create or cut the unnecessary part, which is the root. Now I will adjust after I adjusted the transparency, so I can see my tie base. I will cut the root near the level of the tie base. The rest I will adjust it. I will go to Model Master. There we have the smooth brush or the Add and Remove brush. I will select my surface, which is the purple tooth, and I will start smoothing and adjusting until the level of the tie base or the finish line of the tie base. After I finished editing the crown, now to make it an official crown and make space for the tie base, I will go to the crown and bridge module, which we I have a important feature, the boolean operation. I will do different, choose the tooth. I changed its color for no reason, and and I will select the tie base. Of course, I will put a 
0.2 offset so I have a passive so the crown is passive on the type is now the, the program software created a new surface I will go check the new surface I will remove my green tooth and now the new surface I will adjust the transparency and zoom in you can see the beautiful 0.2 offset that we created okay of course you can make a screw channel manual by using a handpiece we will now do it digital I will go back to advance and select the tie base and select my 2.6 screw channel after I select it I will go back to the bridge and crown crown and bridge module and of course I will do again boolean operation I will select the tooth and the 2.6 cylinder here is the tooth and the 2.6 screw channel and there is here no need for offset and apply a new surface is created I will go back I will unselect the old surface and now the new surface here as we can see we have a <coughs> screw channel no need to do it manual in your clinic but of course this is if you want to go fancy I will go back now to the advanced okay now let's say that you don't want to do immediate loading you only wanted uh, a customized healing apartment with no loading طبعا هاي الخطوة ممكن نعملها في الكلينيك but we will go fancy of course here I will, I will adjust the transparency of the model STL so I can see <coughs> my gingival margin in relation with the crown now I will select my crown and I will cut it to the level of the tissue now there is no loading and I have a perfect gingival formal or tissue formal customized healing apartment thank you for watching and goodbye